good morning students now one more problem in calculation of cpm and q the heat capacity for silicon carbide may be represented by the equation valid over a temperature range from 0 to 1400 degrees centigrade the substance is silicon carbide okay and its cp value cp equation is given and this equation is valid in the temperature range of 0 to 1400 and the cp units are given t units are also given already we have discussed uh, so you need to substitute t only in kelvin then you will get cp only in this unit estimate the enthalpy change in silicon carbide in temperature between 200 to 1000 degrees centigrade it is nothing but enthalpy change enthalpy change here is nothing but what here what heat to be added heat to be added or heat gained by silicon carbide in heating from 200 to 1000 degrees centigrade okay so Enthalpy change is nothing but Q is how much? For that, what is the information given? T1 is 200 degrees centigrade and T must be only in Kelvin. So, 200 plus 273. This is 473 Kelvin and T2 is 1000 degrees centigrade. That is 1000 plus 273 that is 1273 Kelvin. So T1 is given, T2 is given. Then what is Cp? Cp is given as, here it is given like this. You write A plus Bt plus Ct power minus 2. I already explained in the last class problem. When directly numerical values are given like that, you take A, B, C in that place. A plus Bt plus Ct power minus 2 a plus this is a this is b plus c t power minus 2 now you write where a is equal to 8.89 b is equal to 0 0.00291 and c is equal to 28430 like that Okay, then one more point you can see here. Zero degrees. This is different. Silicon carbide is heated from 200 to 1000. In order to raise its temperature from 200 to 1000, what amount of heat is to be added? That is the question. What is this temperature range? This equation is valid in this temperature range. That means you can use this equation for any temperature range between 0 to 1400 okay you can use this equation between for any temperature range between 0 to 1400 now you see this 200 200 to 1000 is within this range okay so this range is within this range that means for this range you can use this equation that is the meaning one more information here whenever like this it is given uh, cp unit cp unit is what here it is given cp unit is calories per gram mole per kelvin calories per gram mole per kelvin this is cp unit okay and uh, t is in uh, Kelvin. This is the unit. Okay. So we wrote now the every data given only the difference of this problem compared to the previous problem is one additional point range is given. So now you need to calculate Q. Q is equal to CPM. This is anyway heating only. So T 
32 minus T1. And how many moles or mass is it given or not? You need to see. If it is not given, you can assume. Uh, estimate the enthalpy change in it. Uh, it is not mentioned here how many moles uh, and all that. So, what you do in such case uh, here, because it is calories per gram mole, you can take N and assume let N equal to, let N equal to 1 gram mole. Okay? Let, what is the problem you see? N is mentioned. The heat capacity of silicon carbide may be represented by then estimate the enthalpy change. No, number of moles are not mentioned or mass is also not mentioned. In such case, because the units are per gram mole, take N and let N is 1 gram mole if it is not given. Okay, uh, then you can take T1, T2, everything we wrote. So, CPM equal to integral CPDT T1 to T2 pi T2 minus T1. This is the equation. Therefore, here you need to calculate CPM. 1 by T2 minus T1 into integral A plus BT plus CT. A plus BT plus CT power minus 2. Okay, you need to write that. If, if you substitute values beginning only here, this integration becomes uh, difficult to write. Every time all the numbers must be carried. Okay. So like this. Now you integrate it. 1 by T2 minus T1. Here. A into T. T1 to T2. Plus B by 2 into T, T square. Again T1 to T2 plus C here, C into here, T power minus 2, that is minus 2 plus 1, that is minus 1. So, here 1 by T minus T1 to T2, like that you will get, okay. Therefore, here 1 by T2 minus T1 into A into T2 minus T1 plus B by 2 into T2 square minus T1 square and minus here C into minus C into 1 by T2 minus 1 by T1. Like this you will get. Therefore, this is, this all gets cancelled. So, A plus B by 2 into T2 plus T1, T2 plus T1 into T2 minus T1. It gets cancelled. That C into 1 by T2 minus 1 by T1. Okay. This is a CPM. So, this is the simplified uh, integrated equation now. So, now you can substitute T1, T2, uh, A, B, C values. All values you substitute. You will get the value. A is A value is how much? 8.89. 8.89. B value is 0 0.00291, 0 0.00291 by 2 into T2 plus T1, that is 1273 plus 473, okay, minus C value is how much, 28430, 28430 into 1 by 1273 minus 1 by 473. Okay. So, like this you got. And the value is um, 11.4 nearly. Nearly 
11.4 its unit is calorie per gram mole kelvin okay thus we got uh, cpm value so now q is equal to then q is equal to n is 1 into cpm is 11.4 into this is 12.73 minus 4.73 please don't uh, forget to write uh, units here so gram mole gram mole into calories per day gram mole kelvin this unit is this one okay into kelvin this is kelvin so q is equal to so much of calories so its value is 9200 9200 calories okay so this much heat is to be supplied to raise the temperature of silicon carbide one gram mole of uh, silicon okay we will write this uh, 9200 calories are to be supplied or to be supplied to raise the temperature of one gram mole of silicon carbide from 200 degree centigrade to 1000 degrees centigrade. This is the conclusion. Thank you.